Hey, welcome to episode one in Roblox scripting tutorial. And so I'm going to start out by opening Roblox Studio because you need Roblox Studio to script. And um, you can do that by going to all programs and finding Roblox and then Roblox Studio 2013. Alright, so we have Roblox Studio here, and um, so I'm going to open up a place that I already have. Uh, let's go to my documents. Where is that? Sorry about this. Okay, then we're going to open this up. And we are here in our original scripting place, which I used to teach my scripting tutorials in my previous channel. Um, but I'm going to. This is a new series. If you want to check out that, um, if you if you want to check out my old series, you can find that at the channel of Mango Man One Three Four Four. Um, so let's get started. So, the first thing you need to know in scripting um, is <clears throat> not quite exactly scripting, see? Um, you need to understand what this is. On the right, we have the Explorer, the Explorer pane, window, whatever you want to call it. And um, so, the this, so let's pretend we don't even have this. And um, if you're new to using Roblox Studio, this is, pro this is probably, um, hold on, actually. Okay, this is probably similar to what you'll see. So what you need to do is hit view, and you're going to check a whole bunch of boxes. You're going to hit view, and then properties, because you'll be needing that. And then view explorer, and that's mainly what you want to use. And then view um, output window. And this output window is used for uh, debugging scripts, and if you... Um, are having like trouble with your script then this is what it's for um, it will tell you if there's an error in your script it will sometimes tell you what line the error is on and yeah um, and then one more thing that's useful but you don't need this is the basic objects thing right here and this gives you access to all of these <clears throat> all of these objects in the game that you, that can be in the game so we won't, um, so what you mainly will be using in scripting is this thing right here, just the regular script, which you've seen before, probably. Um, also, one more thing I forgot to check is the command line. This is what we'll be using in this particular episode. So, so go to view, and then toolbars, and then command. And at the bottom... Uh, the command line will appear, and in the command line, you can pretty much build your place. Um, there, well, there are certain things that make it useful to uh, to build in the command line, such as getting precise um, object placements and stuff like that. Um, but what we'll be using the command line for is to remove the player's head. Um, and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So, um, uh, the first thing I want to explain is the explorer window and I'll probably leave an annotation on the screen t if you already understand the explorer pane I'll leave an annotation on the screen to where um, to where we start getting into the actual scripting um, if, if you don't understand what this is then keep watching so um, this is the workspace <clears throat> in the explorer you have workspace players when a player enters the game their player is kept here in this thing lighting which um, holds, um, you know, all the properties for it. You can make it nighttime, you can make it dark, um, you can change the color, you can enable dynamic lighting, and yeah. Um, so, but the main thing in the Explorer that I want to show you is the workspace, and in the workspace, um, all this, all this stuff is contained, so, um, <laughs> You'll see terrain here, which is um, which is used for creating the terrain. The um, you know when you enable the terrain, it's all green normally. 
Anyway, so it also shows the parts. So if we select this part right here in um, in the main working space right here, uh, it selects that part in the workspace. So the workspace contains all the parts and all the all the cool stuff. Now this is a model, and models are used to kind of organize things. Models are necessary for scripting because um, you can like um, using the command line, you can tell you can make all of the parts in the boat um, purple or something um, for one example but you don't need to understand that right now so models are useful for organizing stuff and it makes scripting more uh, effective and yeah so now let's actually remove the player's head like I was getting to before so to do that we're gonna go to tools and then test and then play solo and what that does is it opens us up a little a nice little um, uh, instance of the game so um, uh, if you if you are first doing uh, play solo you will also probably not have these windows so just repeat the steps that I explained before in opening up all of the windows because um, you will probably need these for testing your games once you get more into more advanced stuff. So, um, let me type a little thing here: game dot workspace dot player one dot head remove. And don't fret; I'm going to explain this in a moment. And as you can see, our head just disappeared, and consequently, we died because. That is a normal thing to happen if your head disappears. Alright, so now let me explain this. Um, Alright, this is where it gets a little bit dicey. So, in the workspace, uh, you notice there is a player one model right here, and that happens to be our character. So, remember when I said our player, when a player enters the game, their player is held in the players folder right here? Um, well, See, there's a difference between the player and the character, which I will get into another time. Um, so, just basically, though, the player, it holds the backpack, which um, the backpack holds all of the, um, you know, the tools and everything, and all the weapons. Starter gear holds everything, like all the, all the tools that the player normally starts out with. And the player GUI has all of the... Um, user interface elements. GUI is short for global user interface, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's how people make buttons in their game, which I'll explain in a later episode. And yeah, so that's what the player is. It has all the technical stuff. Now, the player, or the character inside the workspace, it has the exact same name as the player, because um, that's important to know for later. And it's, um, it is in the form of a model, and inside the model we have the shirt, the pants, the body colors, uh, t-shirts. We have dif different scripts that make the character work. We have the humanoid, which um, keeps track of health. And we have the animation script. We have, And then we have all of the body parts, which, as you can see, are now selected inside <clears throat> our main viewing space. I don't know what you even call it. But, uh, and then it has all the uh, meshes right here for all of the uh, the body shapes. So, um, as you can see, um, the, the player character is contained inside the workspace. And this is important to know because um, that is what we are using here. We are indexing or finding the character's head uh, in this line of... Sorry, that keeps coming up. In this line of code, we are getting the character's head and removing it. So um, this is uh, player one, which is inside the workspace. And then inside player one, if we scroll down, we find the head. So um, so the head is inside the character, which is inside workspace, which is inside game. So you might be wondering, well, why can't we just do like uh, player one dot head? Um, remove. Um, that is because it doesn't know what you're talking about when you say player one. There could be multiple player ones in the entire game. For example, there's the player one character, 
and there's the player one actual player which I explained before you have the player one character which is inside the workspace which contains all the body parts and stuff and then the actual player um, which contains all the technical stuff um, alrighty so um, then we have to that's why we have to use workspace dot player one dot head remove um, this should make sense right uh, I forgot to mention the dot you use the dot to go down the tree and because this is like an upside down tree pretty much um, you know workspace is inside the game I'm gonna explain that in a second and then players inside the workspace <clears throat> and you use the dot you use um, a dot to move down that tree um, you can also use it to move up the tree and I'll explain that in another time so yeah I'm, there's a lot of things I'll be explaining in later episodes but don't worry I'll be teaching how this line of code works in this episode so um, the reason we can't do workspace dot player one that I had to remove um, is because um, there are pretty much two keywords that um, scripting accepts uh, in the command line only one of those work and that is game so we always have to start with game um, if we want to find objects in the game now um, so workspace is inside the game everything else is also inside the game I've probably over explained this but I'm just making sure you understand so players is inside the game so you can do game dot players dot etc and do whatever you want with the player and then lighting is inside the game all of these other things are inside the game um, so yeah that should explain it so we're going game which is the which is the thing we need to start with when we're trying to index or find an object and then manipulate it um, and so game dot workspace because the character is inside the workspace not inside the players folder or I don't know what you would call it but um and then inside the player is the head so we go dot head and make sure to get your capitalizations correct it is case it is case sensitive so finally the weird part we have the colon in front of the head and then remove with the parentheses um, let me explain what this is remove is a method which is pretty much um, a built-in command that uh, Roblox has I don't know if it's the specific Roblox um, command or if it's a Lua or if it's a Lua native command I'm not sure uh, Lua is the language that Roblox uses in case you did not know that and so um, in order to use a method on something um, we we often I think on occasion we can use a, a dot another dot which makes things which makes things kind of complicated but most of the time you'll be using a colon um, and so so we have the head right here woohoo and then we use a colon um, it's kind of hard to see in this video I'm sorry about that but uh, yeah we have a colon and then we just do remove and I think you can capitalize the R on this but just leave it lowercase just to be safe now what the parentheses are for is to let it know that it is actually a method um, so sometimes it will this actually does look like a, a zero or something even um, yeah but these are two parentheses it's a closing and ending parentheses see there's a space right there but let's get rid of that space sometimes you will have in certain methods which I'll be explaining in later videos some um, some methods I'll be explaining have they actually have uh, what they're they're what they're called is arguments inside these parentheses and the parentheses or in the arguments um, uh, never mind about that now actually all you need to know is that you need the closing and ending parentheses if you don't understand why don't worry about it you'll understand later why we need these closing and ending parentheses just make sure you have those and yeah so all of this is really delicate you cannot spell anything wrong um, in scripting everything is pretty delicate it is flexible but delicate so yeah you can't spell anything wrong you normally have to get capitalization correct and um, you cannot have 
um, like extra periods and something. So like game.workspace.player1.head.colon remove. That would break the script and nothing would happen. So um, I hope I've explained everything clearly. Um, so go ahead and try this out on your own. Go ahead, go ahead and hop. If you haven't done this already, hop into Roblox Studio. Remember, go to Tools and then Test and then Play Solo. Do, don't do that from here if you're already in Play Solo. I don't know what will happen. Um, so yeah, go try that, and uh, I will leave the command inside. I'll leave the command um, in the description so that you can copy and paste it into the command line. Uh, for you to try out yourself. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next video.